Hey, hey, Girl Scouts, welcome back to our tie-dye series. Today we are going to be making this shirt right here, and it's usually called a spider tie-dye shirt. I use all the colors of the rainbow, and I'm going to use black dye today, which is something we haven't really used much before. We are going to be starting with a white t-shirt that is damp, which is not what we normally use. We usually start dry and I have folded it in half and then I'm going to spiral it just like if I was doing a standard spiral t-shirt like I've done in the past. It's just that this one happens to be folded in half. All right, so as you can see, I have tied it off, so I have my sections that I can color in, and I am going to start with my rainbow colors. For this shirt, I did use a mixture of Tulip brand dye and Rip brand dye. As in the last video, I recycled my bottles and just mixed that Rit dye into the tulip bottles that come in the dye kit. If you didn't see how I did that, please go back and watch the last video so you can see how I made those colors. Unlike previously when we have made a spiral colored shirt, we are only going to be dyeing this color on one side of the shirt. I'm going to move on to the orange in the shirt and leave the other side white for now. If you don't want a whole lot of color blending, please make sure you clean up some of that extra dye or you're going to have colors in random places. As you can see, I had some green on the bottom of my shirt because I didn't clean up all the green dye I had previously had on the table.
As you guys might be able to tell, I'm using a lot of dye on this shirt. The reason for that is because I don't want white space. I'm trying my hardest to make sure there's as little white space as possible. In order to make that happen, I am opening up those folds of the shirt and making sure that the dye gets down inside those folds and covers every inch of white that it can possibly reach. It does take quite a bit of dye to make sure that happens, so do make sure that you are cleaning up underneath if it's going through or anywhere else. This is a good one to wear gloves with because it will get all over. And now this is that bottle of black dye. I did use too much dye. You do not need to use the whole thing. I did and it made a really big mess. So I would say you probably only need about half of it, but I got a little overzealous. So you are going to do the entire back side of the shirt that we left white in black dye. It's going to fill in the rest of the white space. You're gonna to wanna to cover all the white space you can see and then get inside those folds again. It is going to cover some of your color that you've already put on, that is okay. Again, a reminder not to use the entire bottle of black dye. It was a mistake, and as you can see, left a really big mess. And now we're gonna rinse. Due to the amount of dye in this shirt, I hung it to rinse it with a hose because it was much, much easier. When you wash it, wash it alone. And here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I can't wait to see yours and we'll see you next time.